Tell them what's going on here, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I was trying to tell, you know, everybody about the right to travel. You feel me? Like, when you look right there. Yeah, right there. That, that, that's my place. And everybody get plates. You know, the regular place that you get in the car and everything. But that's for commercial vehicles. I'm not working. I'm not employed. I'm not in commerce. You know, you have the right. The only time that those rules apply to you is if you're working or in commerce. The, um, you know, meaning of driver is someone who's employed or in commerce. I mean, either one. I don't need a driver's license. It's the law right here. The law, you know, you just look up this document right here. Right to travel. Just look it up. And then they give you all the information that you need. If you're not in commerce, if you're not in being employed by anybody, you don't need a driver's license. You know what I mean, and, and, and a lot of people need to need to know these type of things because. Uh, like now, how that work when it, uh, like when you get pulled over, like? Uh, when they when they pull you over, uh, we're, we're not under contract. You know what I mean? So what it is is a commercial agreement. When the cops pull you over, like for speeding. You know, pull you over for speeding, or if they pull you over for you know any traffic violations. If you're not in commerce, they, they don't they, they don't apply to you. So what you have to do is you have to um you know is is you have to get through this is UCC 1308. Everything that that we have the commercial license, the, the license, registration, everything is is a contract. You feel know I me? Mean? So once you, once you go in the contract, you you agree to them terms. So the DMV can take your car, they can seize your property, put it, you know, make you get insurance and everything. But you know, and if you really do your homework, you'll see that you don't really need it. So I'm not just telling you that it's right. Do the homework. I mean, right to travel. All right, all right, all right, thank you. But, It's a long time because I was, I was always used to wonder like how could the um, DMV charge me? This is my car. This is my personal property. You know, with 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 them tags, it gives them permission to go in your car and you know do a lot of things that violate your rights. With that with that tag right there. So you telling me you you driving around, you're not paying no surcharge, you're not, you're not paying, paying no surcharge. anything. So what happens when you get if you get a ticket if you violate if you violate the law? I go to court. You go, go to court. To, I go to court and I fight. Right, 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 right. See, what a lot of people do, they just go in there and they go talk to the prosecutor and they take a plea bargain. Right. You go in there and talk to them and they sign the paper and then right. it's look, a don't nobody fight. Right. It's, it's love. You have the law. Just say it right here. I have 15 different case laws. Supreme Court case law that tells me that I have the right to fight. Okay, you see, you're supposed to sign reserve your right. You reserve your right. UCC 1308. I reserve my right not to compel or perform under any contract, commercial agreement, or bankruptcy that I did not enter knowingly, voluntarily, or intentionally. And furthermore, I do not and will not accept the liability of the compelled benefit of any unreversed contract or commercial agreement.